You guys, this is, this is amazing. It's so pretty out here. Road trip. Walking on water? I'm walking on water. I always walk on water. Let's go! fun we are driving from Calgary Alberta yeah all the way to Vancouver BC and of course bringing you with us and it's one of the amazing times of the year because through the winter time when the snow is capping everything it is a winter wonderland and the Rocky Mountains they just don't disappoint unless you can't see them we like if it's like it's yeah we've snowing. we've driven through and it's been storms you know you can't see the mountains today, today is, is not that this is incredible it's, it's clear the roads are in good condition and you guys, this is, this is amazing. It's so pretty out here. We know that a lot of you will never be able to make it to this area in the winter with an RV. <laughs> yeah. But we are here and so we thought, why not bring you along with us and show you the beauty yeah. that is the Rocky Mountain Range between Alberta and BC. So let's do this. Right now we are at Quarry Lake Park. Yes. This is the Three Sisters and it's beautiful. I, I see four. <laughs> no, I don't three. know which ones are the three sisters. I just know that it's the three sisters over here. Excellent. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is the Canmore off leash area. It's called Quarry Lake. Park and it is absolutely beautiful. One of the most beautiful off-leash parks we have ever been to. If you're in Canmore, on your way to Banff, check this place out and let Rover go for a run. Everywhere you look, those mountains are spectacular. So this is a really cool place for us because when our daughter got married in 2018, this is where we came to get their wedding pictures. And it looks very different today and feels very different than it did in September. Yeah, very impressive though. But it's still incredibly beautiful. So this is 2021. Um, there's a few things I want to say. What do you want to say, hon? Well, I want to say that some of your accomplishments this year might be a little bit different. Might be a bit smaller, might be a little bit uh, um, restricted. <laughs> do, you, do you catch my drift? <laughs> you drift like my you're drift. So, drift. <laughs> so when you're out and when you actually have some things that you can accomplish, do it well. There you go. Like put, your, put your all into it. So what are you thinking of when you say put your all into it and the things you can accomplish? Oh, well, like, you know, we have friends that, you know, they'd fly to, let's say, um, Cambodia or Spain or wherever because they could and this year not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they might rent a camper and 
go to the uh, Okanagan and uh, enjoy some interior BC. So do it well. Yeah, and the other little piece of advice that I would have for 2021 and especially for right now is really keep your mental health in check. Make sure yeah. that you are doing the things that it takes to stay positive, to have hope for the future. Yeah. I know that things can get a little bit crazy and weird. I know we are praying for our American neighbors and yeah. friends because I know you guys are struggling on some different levels than what we are right now in Canada. Yeah, and they're it's big, just deep levels. Big things that are just all happening all at once. So it feels like that snowball effect. Yeah. You like all the snowball puns. Yeah, <laughs> snow, they're great. Snow puns. Um, but keep, stay positive. And yeah. we were watching a show recently and the guy who was, was hosting, hosting this it. show yeah. and actually we'll, we'll link in the description below the, the title of that show. It's called The High Wire. And he was saying, you know, this is a time where you have to remember and go forward. If you're getting, if you're watching media that's making you mm -hmm. angry, if you're, if you're getting frustrated and you're, you're not liking your neighbor, not liking certain things and you're getting angry, you're probably watching a portion of the actual story. Well, yeah, and I think his point was, if it's making you angry, turn it off. Like, yeah. you know, you can, you get, you still have a choice about what goes into your brain. Yeah. So are you choosing YouTube videos that make you positive and give you hope and give you, um, build your dreams for the future and, and are good for your relationships? Yeah. Or are you watching YouTube videos or media or news feeds or whatever, Twitter feeds, whatever it is, that are bringing you down, that are making you angry, that are making you frustrated and feeling hopeless? And so just be really mindful of what is going in yeah. because what goes in is what is going to come out of your heart and yeah. out of your mouth. And we really just love everybody out there. We want you guys to just take care of yourselves. Do what yeah. you know is important for you to do. Make this, this an time. amazing year. Yeah. And it can be an It'll amazing be year. It will be different. I really do believe it won't be back to normal. Um, but I do think that we can make the best of it. Find those silver linings in the clouds yep. that are out there. And I have a friend who just started uh, really producing on his YouTube channel and it's growing. It's going amazing. Yeah. And it's for his his group. Yeah, exactly. And actually that, that we can put in the link below too yeah. if you want. <laughs> it's our friend Ian. He's one of our patrons. Yeah. Anyway, we'll put that down in the, in the description below. But you guys, look at this. It is absolutely beautiful out here. It's it awesome. is gorgeous and it is tricky driving. It's scary. Um, it's slippery. We're driving along a lake shore. I'm like, I just don't want to land in the lake. Hey guys, sometimes when you're driving in the mountains, in the winter, you have to go extra slow and be extra careful because this road is not happy. Ken says it's pretty slick. So we'll just take her easy, go nice and slow, no big hurry. Remembering rule number one when you're driving in winter conditions. Rule number one is look where you want to go. Yes. Aim where you want to go, drive to where you want to go. When you start sliding, you better be watching where you're wanting to go, not where you're going to end up if you don't. Yeah, look where you want to go. Well, like I said a few minutes ago, you never know what you're going to get on the roads when you're driving in the winter through the mountains in Canada. And that last bit that we just did was really scary um, yeah we just felt like we had no traction on the road yeah you're going along at uh, at really slow speed yeah and you're on the flats and all of a sudden you feel like your wheels are losing their oh, traction like our hearts just sank a couple times the lake is right there or a hill or a cliff or whatever so and all of a sudden you're like oh I slipped winter driving is not for the faint of heart you have to kind of have some guts and even then it's still scary so um, experience is helpful too and then all of a sudden we're on this road and there's it's been salted and sanded so we have a lot more traction now which we're very thankful for um, but we're still gonna be careful right still go slow yep we got nothing to prove um, but yeah, it can be scary. It can be an adventure. So life can be an adventure even if you're just doing normal life stuff. So this is normal life stuff. Um, and of course, this is an alternate route. We could have stayed up on the uh, Coquihalla number five. We decided to go down here because it was prettier. <laughs> this is the Canadian version. It's the 5A. 
It is the 5A. This is the Nicola Valley, and it's beautiful, but yeah. Better for motorcycle riding, too, because we've, we've done this a couple times not, on the motorcycle. Not today. Anyway, we're just going to keep driving. I'm enjoying it, but uh, yeah, when those uh, road sections are really dicey, oh my. That's where we get our white hair from. That's right. <laughs> I don't have any white hair, so you're taking it all, honey. You got lots of white hair. Where? Oh yeah. Um, I'm driving. It's cloudy. It's cold. So we could we could focus on the negative. I guess is what we're saying. We could yeah. focus on the things that are stressful, the things that are negative, the fact that I'm freezing and shattering my cheese right now, or we could focus on the beauty and we could say, hey, we get the opportunity to just give you guys a quick little message, say hello, yeah. show you this gorgeous location, and focus on that positive. And tonight we're gonna be back in Bessie. Yeah. Get to sleep in our own beds, drink our own coffee, yep. and you know what? We are excited for. Living Light RV for this year. There's yeah. gonna be lots of cool things coming. We got lots of big plans and we want to bring you guys with us. So thank you so much. Got anything else to say? I, I think we're good. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Let's get back in the car, go for you a bet. road trip. You guys, my name is Lisa. And my name is Kent and we're Living Light RV on the road, 2021, enjoying getting from one side of the Rockies to the other, bringing you with us. Grabbing life by the tail. You guys go grab life by the tail and we will see you guys next Thursday. Take care. When we say that the roads can change really fast, that's exactly what we mean. Like within 20 minutes, it went from totally clear, all good to go, to be like freaking out and like total stress because we're going down a steep, steep hill, like what, 11% grade probably. Yeah, and it's for a long stretch. A long stretch. There's I think three or four lanes, so. Semi-trucks, ice on the roads. I'm like, so Lots of people want to go past you, you know. Oh my gosh, so stressful. Thanks for driving. Oh, you want to drive? I'm sorry, I'll, well, I'll stop right now. I do not want to drive this time. I'm so thankful that Ken does this hard driving, but... Oh my gosh, okay, so I think we've got... Like, now we're heading down to where it's just going to be raining and less snow. Hopefully we don't have freezing rain because that's even worse because that's just straight ice. So like we said, driving in Canada in the winter is not for the faint of heart and make sure you have good tires if you're going to come up here and... And check your weather reports. Check your weather reports. We should have checked and we probably should have left earlier today, but we didn't, so bad on us. Anyway, you guys, it's been crazy. Wow, you guys, this is absolutely incredible. Check out that mountain view. Hoo-wee. pretty is that? Nice. Love it. Ever wonder why people would come through the Rocky Mountains in the wintertime to go to Revelstoke? Well, to use those machines on the snow and the ice. And there's two more. There you go. That's what they do in Revelstoke.